Okay, we took the information off of the customer's existing ball. I transferred it over to the dry erase board so it's easier for you to see at home. And we went with the cut spans. So what we have, what that means is it's going to be where the drilled edge of the thumb meets the drilled edge of the fingers. So obviously when we put the finger grips inside the holes, this, the overall span is going to be longer. This hopefully is easier for you to understand. So we have a cut span of 4 and 3 8 on the middle finger and a cut span of 4 and 7 16 on the ring. We're going to, we decided we're going to go with an inch and an eighth um, thumb slug, solid slug, with a 15 16 hole, quarter reverse, zero left and right. On the middle finger, we're going 31 32nd hole, zero forward and reverse, three eighths left. And on the middle finger, 31, I'm sorry, the ring finger, 31 32nd hole, half right, three sixteenths reverse. Okay, just so you know the, the correct terminology. It's forward and reverse, left and right. Palm pitch away, that's not really an accurate way of talking about it. So forward and reverse, left and right is what we're going to do. Now I'm going to show you how to transfer that information over to the bowling ball. So we're going to use our quarter scale and our yellow marking pencil. Normally when I do bowling balls, I try to keep the, the line of the, of the pencil as fine as what I can. For illustration purposes, we're going to use nice broad lines so it shows up better on the video. We've decided we are going to drill this ball over the where the existing holes were located. Um, you never really, if because he's right-handed and he is a high-track player, we don't want to drill over here because then you may risk rolling over the the plug. You can do it, but you want to avoid it if at all possible. So we decided we're going to go in, in the same general location. So what I did was I put my quarter scale in the center of the thumb and in the center of the finger holes and I'm going to draw my center line. Now I'm going to make the center of the span. I've determined I want to put it right here. So that's where the center of this customer's grip is going to be. Um, now what I can do is you can either use the quarter scale or you can use your six inch ruler and I'm going to measure backwards off the from the center of the span to locate where the thumb hole is going to be because on this ball I'm going to drill the thumb hole first so to do the, the span of four and five eighths which was his overall span alright I'm going to take that and divide that by two so that's going to give me two and five sixteenths. So four and five eighths divided by two is going to be two and five sixteenths. And I'm going to bump it up just a little bit for the edge of the slug. Okay, because we're going to we're going to put a thumb slug in there. So that's where I want my inch and an eighth drill bit to hit. I want my front edge to hit up here and be and be something similar like this. Okay. Now we're going to put it onto the drill press. I'm going to dial in my quarter reverse pitch, zero left and right. I'm going to put my inch and an eighth drill bit in, and we're going to drill the hole.